The next roadmap is here for Fallout 76 and outlines all the events and dates from March up until the end of June 2024. Despite being already into the third week of March, we still have the double school weekend from the 14th until the 18th, so any of you lovely lot who have yet to finish the Season 15 scoreboard can get that extra bit of score per daily challenge to help you finish. Just don't forget to claim all the rewards once you've done, as they won't be available to claim once this season ends. From March the 21st until the 25th is Murmur's special pick, and another double mutations weekend. Then finishing the month, we have the launch of the much-awaited Atlantic City America's Playground update, including the new Season 16 scoreboard! Oh, wait, yeah, forgot. We no longer have a scoreboard, just a load of pages or something. Oh well, at least the rewards look great, and Rip Daring is back in the new Season 16 duel with the devil. In the latest season preview, we get to see Rip Daring entering Atlantic City on another cryptid hunt. Although we have already seen some of the rewards, I'm loving the new Peeper's paint that can be applied to the cold shoulder, which is one of my favourite weapons in Fallout 76, but also some damn cool looking grass roof tiles for camp builds that I either completely missed on the preview or are something new and exciting. In my opinion, the actual Rip Daring outfit is a little boring, but the Cryptid Skull backpack is very cool and also the new weapon called the Cremator, for when the standard flamer is just not enough. There are also several new skins for this weapon which are nice to see, and we're also getting a cool new power armor paint. That looks awesome. Especially the light up eyes, which also seem to double up as a torch. How cool is that? There are many other great item rewards in Season 16, including a new kinky robot camp ally called Adelaide, a new building kit with a rip daring outdoor look, a new water boiler, and a very gruesome but cool looking autopsy table skin for the chemistry workbench. So I guess, although we may be sad for the old scoreboard style game board to have been replaced, I guess we just have to embrace the change and play on. Heading back to the roadmap, April kicks off with another favourite event, the Mothman Equinox, which starts on April 2nd and runs for two weeks until the 16th. Although there are no further big events in April, we do have a Caps of Plenty and Double Mutations weekend between the 4th and 8th, Double XP and Gold Rush weekend between the 11th and 15th, the Legendary Vendor Sale and more Double Mutations between the 18th and 22nd, and then a nice Double School weekend to finish off the month from the 25th to the 29th. However, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Ah yes, there's a tiny little TV show thing that's launching on a relatively small unknown platform. Prime something I think it's called? Anyway, that launches on the 11th of April, so for more, why not check this out? Excited much? Hells yeah, I can't wait! May is rammed with events for 76 and starts with Invaders from Beyond that technically starts on the 30th of April, but runs for two weeks until May the 14th. During this event we also have another Double Mutations weekend on the 2nd until the 6th. Following this, we have a new limited time challenge event called Spring Cleaning, running for two weeks from the May 7th until the 21st. I'll bring you more details nearer the time. During this event, we also have a script surplus weekend on the 9th to the 13th, and the Treasure Hunters are making a return with another double mutations weekend at the same time on the 16th until the 20th. No time to catch your breath, as on May the 21st we have another double helping of Meat Week that runs until June the 4th with a Caps of Plenty weekend on May the 23rd until the 27th, and then, just for good measure, you've guessed it, another Double Mutations weekend to round off the month of May from the 30th until the 3rd of June. Clearly, the devs have holidays booked for June, as we have a far more relaxed month, starting with Gold Rush on the 6th until the 10th, a legendary vendor sale weekend on the 13th to the 17th, not forgetting, at this point, customary Double Mutations weekend at the same time, and then a Double Score weekend from June the 20th until the 24th. Ending the month, and the current roadmap is a script surplus weekend from the 27th of June, ending on the 1st of July, with of course, some more double mutations running alongside just for good measure. And oh yeah, almost forgot, freaking Freshnacked is back in June as well, so if you missed out on any of the rare masks, then you have another chance to get these between June the 25th and July the 9th. Don't worry, if you've only just got rid of the earworm, you'll be fine, it'll only have ingrained itself on you for another few months. All in all, this looks like a good solid few months of fantastic content to keep us busy in the wasteland, with the map expansion likely to be coming in the second half of the year, who knows what else we'll have coming to Fallout 76 in the near future. But I'm certainly excited. I hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching. I'm Golden Gek, and have fun. See ya.